Isun, while incredibly adorable and obviously a creature of this world, would not in fact be a good environmentalist. He'd just try to eat everything. Come to think of it, that's what a lot of environmentalists did way back when, didn't they? So, I've gone through multiple incarnations of this particular vlog. Um, this was actually a topic recommended by a friend of mine. Hi Sarah! Specifically talking about Earth Day and what I'm doing and, you know, try to help things out. I'm an environmentalist after all, but I'm also a pretty bad environmentalist. Uh, for an example, I do things like I plant trees, I hug trees, I love plants, I love grass, well, not so much on the grass, but plants and flowers and wildlife and bunnies and squirrels and all sorts of things. I do things like pay extra money to be able to have my house powered through solar and other renewable resources, um, clean renewables, I should say. Technically, wood is a renewable resource, and I wouldn't want that powering my house. Um, but at the same time, well, I think I've counted that I have about 330 watts of power currently running on just the lights for this vlog. I'm a computer user, and the computer industry is one of the dirtiest industries in the world. I don't know if you realize, but like, for instance, um, in order to make a circuit board, you would need to give it an acid bath, usually, which means there's a bunch of heavy metals being introduced with some fresh water in order to be able to produce your laptop or desktop or really any form of electronics. That water still has to go someplace, so they throw it back in the ocean or try to treat it ahead of time and then throw it back in the ocean. Or It's a waste of resources. And being an American, I also use up a substantially large amount of power in comparison to the average person in the world. I'm aware of these things, and, well, I'm trying hard to try to reduce my footprint, I'm trying to conserve more energy, I'm replacing all of my lights with LED bulbs as they burn out. It's actually not efficient to replace immediately, it's more efficient to replace as they grow old, or replace in high energy use situations, and things along that nature, but this actually comes up with a topic I wanted to talk about. Uh, it's namely the... So, I don't know if this comes up in other countries, so I apologize. After having the first vlog in a very long time that was not Americentric, I'm probably going back to Americentrism. But that's mostly because I can't speak for other nations, and I'm certain that there's other nations that have this problem, and probably lots and lots of people in nations that generally don't have that problem, and I'm rambling again, I apologize. So, what I'm referring to is the idea that you're supposed to try to be perfect at something that you do. Uh, for an example, I just mentioned I'm not necessarily the greatest environmentalist in the world. That doesn't mean I should just give up all hope and just stop trying. That means that I should endeavor to do more and do better, right? Um, this comes up quite a bit in a lot of quote-unquote moral areas, namely, or dieting, or politics even, or all sorts of weird places, like the idea that Oh, I just accidentally ate too much. I guess I'm just going to go off my diet. That's pretty common, and I will admit that I've done that a few times myself. I'm definitely not perfect. Or in politics of, this doesn't solve all of the problems, so it's not worth doing. Oh, I hate that. It's a self-confidence issue, partially, and it's a cultural issue for the other part. We, as a culture, and again, I'm speaking for my own culture here, but I do feel as though this does pertain to a lot of people, try to picture people as role models. We try to put a perfect picture in our mind of insert person here, and they're not necessarily perfect people. In fact, I am certain there's no such thing as a perfect person in this world, and I am damn not even close to that. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't strive toward perfection, at least perfection in certain areas. I would love to strive towards, say, for instance, reducing my footprint in this house electric, uh, electricity and gas-wise to the point where the solar panels on top of the house would actually compensate for any electric, uh, electrical use that I do, plus compensate for the um, waste generated from said panels and so on. I would love to be able to get to that point, and I'm trying to work toward it, but that's not going to happen immediately. Things don't happen immediately. Patience. Patience is a virtue. What I'm trying to say is this. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Isun's not perfect. Zone's not perfect. There's no such thing as perfection. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try to achieve it. Thanks for watching. Bye.